All right, so Battlefield Game 1, Jigga Cuff starts on top platform. Dark Cloud controlling center stage as Voodoo went to the right ledge. Um, Voodoo likes to, to do aerials from the ledge. So you can wave dash back, F smash, you can counter if you're feeling, uh, you know, like you have the hard read. Um, or you can just kind of run towards the middle and not get hit and make him bring the fight to you. Okay. Uh, nice crouch cancel. Uh, side beat up till we'll get the kill though. That was that was nice. It's not it's not always easy like getting those. First you need the side B to hit, then you need the up tilt to not only hit but like need the right hitbox. But if they're trying to make their way back down, then the side B's a little more uh, safe, I guess. A lot of times I find that puffs have gotten and peaches as well. We've gotten good at crouch canceling the uh, first hit of side B to not get popped into the air. But even game so far here, Voodoo doing his uh, aerials from the ledge as we have seen him do a lot so far this game. Um, Dark Cloud's content just kind of holding down the, the middle of the stage. Um, okay, with the shield grab, you always want to be careful trying to shield grab uh, Jigger Puff. Uh, Voodoo did a ill-advised, uh, un-ill-advised pound there. I think my boy Mafia might be joining me with commentary right now. What is good, Makari? What is good? What are Mafia? we even looking at? What is this? What am I looking at? So this is not only pools, but this is a $5 money match. Oh my god. Yeah. What is the set count? Uh, this is game one. Wow. And um, so Voodoo far... issued the challenge. Now down a stock. Dark Cloud has basically just kind of out-controlled him. I see, I see. Uh, just has done a good job. Throw some aerials out on the way down the platform. Too. Has done a good job doing that, pretty much. Okay, fighting uh, him in just, air, air to air, maybe? Uh, like, yeah. Okay, okay. Or, well, you know, using his anti-airs, not necessarily, if, if that is also, if that is known as air to yeah, air, yeah. even though he's on the ground, yeah. Me melee kind of all flows together, but, uh, you know, it's really hard to use ground moves to be jumpers. Uh-huh. Well, I guess nice it's I guess it's different um, being a Marth player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Where fair is like your life. Well, that and like he just has a long sword, so you can be on the ground and like yeah, and swing like Ooh. an up tilt maybe, and, and it'll it'll hit oh. in the air. What was that shield breaker, dude? Oh my gosh! Dark Cloud likes the shield breaker. Yeah, back into the face. Um, I will call him out though for. Right when his invincibility oh, finished against uh, BVB, yeah. our, uh, our favorite ice climber, my favorite, I, I my favorite ice my, climber, yeah, mine. Uh, I, I well, won the doubles I say, with uh, uh, your boy. Yeah, I actually shouted you guys out earlier because there was a pause. Shout us out again, Pete. Uh, shout out to Mafia and BVB for Hyperbolic winning, time for winning we're, doubles. We're in here. Um, anyway, so we got David Vu on the prowl yep. against uh, Dark Cloud. Yep. It's not going great. Um, yes, it's not. I feel like. He hasn't moved enough on the ground. He tends to jump quickly. Let's see. So right there, I, I mean, that's a good backer pattern, but, like, he could be just staying in his own space more. I feel like he's... He, he, th he throws out f -smash Yeah, he... he, he, like when, he when, when we say throwing out, I feel like what it is is that, like, he's committing to attacks in spaces that, like, if he did them further back, they might be better. Right. I mean, how, how would you... Like, right there, see, like, he kind of landed too close to him when, like, the point of her aerial mobility is you can make the landing safe. Uh-huh. Nice fair. That's going to kill. Yeah. Well spaced. Um, j just to finish what I was saying, though, okay. not to put him on blast, but Dark Cloud, you know how I said he likes the shield breakers? Yeah. He did like a short hop shield breaker against uh, both Popo and Mana and got wild for it at 0%. I thought that was, a, should be a good learning experience. So we go to, we go to FD for game two. Um, uh, we haven't even updated the names or anything. That is my fault. Player one is Dark Cloud. Player two is Voodoo. And it is 1 0. Oh. How do I update this? Update. Alright, there we go. That makes more sense. So, um, FD for game two. Uh, I'm willing to bet that Dark Cloud banned Dreamland. Um, 
I know that nice down air out of shield on that. Um, I wonder if up smash out of shield would, would ever lead to anything there. Um, down air is obviously good though. Gets you percent and gets them off you. Um, that'll be the stock, I believe. Yeah. Uh, just barely couldn't make it back. So Voodoo had death percent here. Any decent hit from Mark will kill him. That was a, a nice option to get on stage. I think he did like a, a, an air dodge. He like turned around and an air dodge. Uh, forward throw. The pound clanked with maybe a down tilt there. Um, they're just... I don't know. Falling up there, there was interesting. Ooh, nice spike. How many jumps does he have? Will he make it back? He will not make it back. So that is costly for Voodoo. Uh, we'll see how, ooh, nice pound. Okay, good little sequence there, but gets hit by the returning fair. Um, I like to crouch there while he was uh, very close to Marth. I think that was a crouch cancel grab from uh, Dark Cloud, which is a very good tool, uh, especially for Marth, getting a lot off grabs and also having a very nice grab range. He just gets these F smashes to hit. It's uh, rather impressive. Um, Ill advised dash attack, but uh, Dark Cloud does not get punish on it. There it is. If any of you have been in the uh, New England Melee group on Facebook recently, um, Voodoo issued a, a money match to Dark Cloud. That's why this is a dark, uh, that's why this is a money match. Um, he also issued a money match to me and uh, also to Stickman. All three of us being Marth players, and Voodoo was a little salty that he lost to Dark Cloud on Tuesday at Game Over because his getup attack got red and tippered, and that is the same thing that happened there a second ago. So that's why they both kind of chuckled. I'm sure Voodoo wasn't too happy about it. Uh, that was a good edge guard there from him, though. But this is this is going to be uh, difficult for him. He's at for Jigglypuff. Yeah, that's really hard to say. And so that is the set. That is $5 in Dark Cloud's pocket. That is potentially a hit to Voodoo's pride. But, uh, you know, well played to both of them. I do want to say that I commend Voodoo for not, like, charging his rollouts.